All right, in this week's video, I wanted to cover uh, just balancing a centrifuge. It's a very simple topic, but still some people make mistakes with it, and I wanna cover the two most important mistakes that people make. So it's very obvious, of course, you need to balance a centrifuge, right? It's spinning very quickly, uh, and you need the weight to be balanced on both sides, and that's how it's done. Of course, you could not just put them in two random areas. Of course, this right here would lead to, you know, it wouldn't work probably your centrifuge would shut off, okay? So you always have to make sure that they're crisscross from one another. Now, this mistake here we see sometimes made, okay? So make sure that this is one that you don't make. It's obviously not balanced. It has to be in the crisscross as I explain. And whenever we incorporate white tubes and red tubes at the same time, always remember that the white tubes have to be balanced against each other, always. Okay, the mistake that we see far too often people make is this one right here. They try and balance a red tube with a white tube. And the problem with that is the white tube is made out of plastic most of the time. The red tube is made out of glass. They don't weigh the same. And for that reason, if you spin this way here, you will not have proper layer separations. Okay, so that's a big, big, big X. Very simply, like I said, make sure red tubes balance with red tubes, white tubes with white, and ideally you wanna have blood to the roughly the same levels when you're, when you're drawing this. Now, in the ones that have buckets, okay, we wanna always crisscross again. So in a case like this one here with a, a centrifuge of this kind, okay, you can't balance straight anymore, right? It always has to be crisscrossed. So that's another mistake that we see some people make. Okay, this is properly balanced. You can't go like this, obviously, okay, very straightforward. So that's basically, you know, a very, very short video just explaining. Uh, the one that we see most commonly, and we get the phone calls at Advanced PRF Education, like, we're, you know, we're not getting proper layer separation. Most of the time, it's from colleagues that are trying to balance a red tube with a white tube, and it doesn't work because they weigh different amounts, okay? So make sure you balance that properly. Thank you. Mm -hmm.